to today's video. So today's a little bit special. You can see I have changed my desk setup. And so these are some ribbons we'll be talking about in a minute from Shine Myrtle. But I got this. So you, you're always asking me for a sketchbook and I have been also looking for a sketchbook. Um, I found this pa paper pad with cotton Amalfi paper from the Amalfi Coast in, in Italy. And so it's this gorgeous, gorgeous cotton paper and it's got the decal edge. The only problem with this, I think I've seen it before and I went against it just because it's a pad. So I wanted something that was more of a hard bound sketchbook, but I sort of took a chance on it and um, we're going to sort of rebind it just in a really simple way because you can see here, like I didn't want to use it where you've got to sort of crease over the, um, you know, the paper like that. So I've just cut the raffia there and I'm going to sort of just put some ribbon very simply through those two holes. Now, you know, you could, um, so the ribbon that I have here is from Shy Myrtle. And what I end up using is the actual seam binding so this is like the little freebie seam binding that she gives you around the ribbon package. So I wanted to use these two colors, but um, the thick ribbon's just too thick. But so um, I am, yeah, if you can get your hands on like some antique silk um, seam binding, that is so gorgeous as well. My mum got me some from New York from a little ribbon shop when the first uh, trip she came to New York. but. Um, it's just really beautiful. So I think this is just like rayon seam, seam binding, but anyway, um, yeah, I've just poked the ribbon through and I am just tying some ribbons here. So, or some bows you want to leave. So you can see, I kind of pull it back and I leave the bow. I'm not making it tight. I'm actually just leaving it quite loose so that I can open the book and lay it flat. So you know that if you've seen any of my other videos where we use the just the Walmart Canson XL paper and I take that out of the paper pads and I put it into like um, just those book rings. So this is kind of a similar thing here. You could use, you know, just any sort of type of embroidery string or uh, baker's twine or anything like that. I might have to actually go back in and reinforce some of these holes or put a little bit of glue in them, but uh, I have used this so you'll see um, This paper in use in the next two videos. So I have one to upload today and one hopefully tomorrow uh, And it's so beautiful. It's really really lovely to use It's really nice having a little bit of the Amalfi Coast in your you know on your desk and so I will link the shop and the listing for this it actually comes in several different sizes this is the A5 and so it comes just in a listing and then there's another listing that says blank so that means that the front cover has doesn't have this image on it it's just a blank cover so you can do whatever but I really enjoy the image and so basically I'll just be keeping the um, paper inside the cover here and then I'll just pull it out to work with it or just flip that open uh, to work with it and so I was gonna just pop these few minutes on the edge of or on the, on the edge on the um, end of the video for today but I, I thought I'd just put a different video up just for this sketchbook because I'll probably get questions about it quite often and I thought I can just easily refer them to this video so I hope you don't mind just a little quick video about a really nice new sketchbook and I do have another option for a sketchbook so if you're not interested in you know just loose papers I have another um, uh, something else for you possibly next week but I will see you guys in the next video bye for now